great start for today. It's uh, really sunny, and we're gonna hook up the cables now. Um, I'll be uh, doing it on a series, so that's uh, connecting the negative to the positive of the next panel. So one and two panels, uh, second negative to the third positive, third positive to the last, uh, fourth, uh, uh, sorry, negative to the positive. And that will leave me with um, the first panel positive to go to the controller and the last panel um, negative to go to the controller. And uh, same me having to uh, do the, uh, you know, the joiners. I've uh, gone out and bought a 10 meter um, extension with the positive uh, male and the female already done. And I worked out one length is 7 meter and the other one is uh, about 3 meter. So before I cut, I've got to make really sure which is which. And uh, I've done it and it's all joint. There you go. So the negative to positive. Good idea to do, uh, uh, go through and check it again uh, before you, you hook it on. So, so this negative goes to the controller, and the first panel, the uh, positive, which is about seven meter away from the controller. There you go run along this pipe and up there. And down to the uh, controller. Before it gets to the controller, I have a circuit breaker here, and this is a fuse circuit breaker. Uh, this is 40 amps uh, circuit breaker. So, in case I need to uh, work on the uh, panel or anywhere here, I can you know cut off the circuit. Now let's open up and see what's in the controller. Uh, it's a plate and it's going to drop out. I uh, better push it back up and. Uh, release the cover slowly and see what happens okay it's not dropping out it's just sliding down <coughs> all right so the cables will be going into here which is pretty handy you can slide down and when it's done just slide it back and put the cover back on so that's the power in and the red jumper is uh, normally on and normally off uh, switch we don't use that so that's why the jumper lid is there so I've hooked up from the circuit breaker I removed the fuse last night I put the, a plus and a minus on the um, wall so that I don't have to work out the uh, where is a plus and where is a minus again uh, I need to do that because the cable is all black it doesn't tell me where which is positive and which is negative so putting it on the wall save all the hassle of having to go through the cables again so i know now which is negative and which is positive so before we uh, screw it into the the connections it's best to thread all this through the cover because uh, that is where it's going to be going the nuts goes in first and then the cover and now we'll have a look at what's in the pump here so the cable have to somehow get from this pump to the controller <coughs> okay the screws um, nicely away and in the cover it says L1, L2, L3 and it's um, there are the screws there don't lose them and that's the uh, joiner in the plastic okay and it's marked on the uh, cables L1, L1, 2 and 3 so that correspond to the numbers on the controller so it's basically just running the cables from the uh, pump to the controller L1 to 1, L2 and, and 3 
L2 is um, the red color, so that's a live one. So uh, connect that one first, and then work out which is L1 and 3. So join it like that, and three cables coming out there. And when it's all done, I uh, put uh, put a bit of silicon onto the uh, nuts or, um, that to prevent uh, ants or spider going in uh, and making nests. Uh, dab a bit of silicon around, and same here too. Uh, dab a bit of silicon on onto the, uh, uh, the uh, yeah here, the uh, locking nuts. So all done. I just put the cover back, and uh, always making sure you are not uh, you know connected yet. So just put one or two screws back on, and then test the pump. Being a sunny day, it should work. Power it on, and you see nothing happened. Oops, sorry, got to switch on first. There you go. Okay, that uh, sounds better. And it's turning clockwise, so it's good. Water is flowing. And check for leak. Seems to be okay. Uh, lights flashing, indicating the uh, number of revolutions that the pump is turning per minute. Let's have a look at the sky again. So the sun's um, shining on the panels. Panels are generating electricity. And that is now powering the pump. Goodbye the grid. So it can run during the day when the sun is shining. Okay, no leaks, that's good. But it's uh, wet over here and uh, not a good sign. This is actually a very old uh, salt coronator and that's the next thing I'll be changing. So that'll be in the next video. And thanks for watching.